Perhaps it's fitting that we just got our first snow this morning. Hello, I'm Michael with Rider Sanctuary and today I'm doing the Friday vlog a day early because I'm going to be on the road tomorrow. I'm heading out to my son's memorial in Utah. So I'm probably not going to be anywhere near a computer or video equipment or anything like that until later in the afternoon. So, But today I wanted to go over some of the more recent comments that were on the channel. So let's uh, jump into it. Now before we get started reading some viewer comments, if you enjoy the video, don't forget the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this and the other things I cover, hit the subscribe button. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can always hit me up on social media, on Twitter and Facebook, or you can use the contact form on RiderSanctuary.com. And I know I haven't been very uh, reliable on answering those emails recently, um, given uh, recent events, it's been hard to stay focused on stuff. So, But I will be going and getting to those emails today. So let's jump into the comments. The first one comes from Sears. There's a link to purdue.edu. Great for any styles. Got me through all the different styles for my college papers. And this is in response to the five places that I've come across where you can use, um, where you can learn AP style English writing. And I do agree. I do like uh, Purdue. I've used Purdue's website quite often in the past for different reasons. And uh, the page that he shared is uh, pretty spot on with information that you might need. So it's worth giving it a look. The next comment comes from Lester Smith. I just got mine today. It's not only disappointing, but also depressing. I have had a clean sheet for the last three years, and the client spoils my reputation. This is a response on the video for what to do um, if you get a rejection in Textbooker. And I agree. Um, after, I think it was, I did more than 3,000 articles, and I got my first rejection, and it was, uh, and it crushed my soul. <laughs> it took a minute for me to get past that, but then once I realized that the other 3,000 plus articles I did where the clients loved it and gave me glowing reviews kind of cancels out that one single rejection. Now I know what it's like to want to have a perfect score, but like I say in all of my blogs and tell all my clients and other writers, you can't please 100% of the people 100% of the time. People are going to hate just for the sake of hating. So what you got to do is try to move past it and uh, strive to improve and keep working on what you're doing. Obviously you do well otherwise you wouldn't be writing for three years so just focus on the other clients that loved your work and uh, don't worry too much about the ones that hate it because trolls will be trolls and that's true in the client world as well you're going to come across clients that are just asinine some that expect like unbelievable expectations and it just it kind of drives you down a bit but just keep focusing on the things you've done in the past keep focusing on the people that enjoy your work the next comment comes from T.L. Jones. Advertise on Reddit for 50 bucks, you might get more subs. You could also advertise on YouTube for a few bucks. Write 7,143 words on Textbroker in the open orders to get 100 bucks. Then use it for advertising. It's the only way other than constant posting links all over the web. I like your videos. It was very, all very helpful for me, and I appreciate the effort you've put into it all. Thank you. This was part of, I think, the live stream where I was mentioning how... Um, I would like the channel to grow bigger, but I don't want to try forcing it, you know? And I agree that I could probably put in a little bit in advertising, but without having any money coming back in, then the ROI on it is negligible. I'm not monetized other than my coffee link that I have on the blog post and on the YouTube channels. So advertising in this sense, it might get me more exposure and might help grow my channel and get more subscribers, but um, it would be a lot of out-of-pocket expenses. And I know that I could write a little bit on tax broker to make the money. And I do make a decent amount of money for my private clients, but I'd rather put that money into something else. Like recently, I've been doing a lot of charity work. So I've been doing, um, putting money into stuff that'll help me with extra life and geeks of grandeur. I'm going to their Halloween party this uh, couple weeks. I don't know. I might toy with the idea of advertising, but I don't know. We might uh, do some advertising of some kind. Then again, I, I don't know. Um, I don't mind growing my channel organically like I'm not in it for the money I don't care if I ever get monetized by YouTube AdSense is well kind of a joke in the long run but I know a lot of people rely on it but it doesn't really generate a lot of income most of the successful people on YouTube focuses more on their patreon accounts or sponsorships or selling their own products and I'd rather focus more on stuff like that because it's more reliable and I can start doing it right away 
Luckily, the copy links that I have on my YouTube videos have generated a, a few copies here and there. I've made like 16, 30 or something like that. And I think it's amazing that people are willing to buy me a coffee for it's only like three bucks and it, it makes me feel good and it helps reinforce that maybe I am better than I think I am. But I thank you very much to all of you who have done use the uh, coffee links and uh, I'll try to keep doing what I do. The next comment comes from him up mom. I'm so very sorry to hear this devastating news. My heart is really breaking for you and your family. I have made many videos dealing with childhood illnesses and the fear of losing a child. It's a heavy burden to live with. I hate that you have to live with this terrible loss. It is so insufficient to reply to this type of news in a YouTube comment. Be kind to yourself. Thank you. And this is in response to uh, losing my 19 year old um, child recently. It's still it's still fresh and uh, the wound is still pretty deep and as a parent it's something that you never really truly get over I mean one-sixth of my soul is now gone and will never come back the only thing I can do is keep trying to push through my family needs my strength and uh, it's hard it's really really hard and I hope you never have to experience it either but thank you for your well wishes and for those of you who don't know who him mom is uh, she has a really great channel about uh, dealing with childhood cancer and other things that she likes to do so uh, it's a great channel yeah check it out moving on <laughs> the next comment comes from trivia night great video and advice I agree is does not work and can be har more harmful than good this is in response to the video I did recently about buying subscribers and paying for social proof and I completely agree. Um, it goes along the lines with, not necessarily with advertising, but when you start trying to do the sub for sub or follow for follow thing, it just doesn't work right because you're sure you'll inflate your numbers, but you don't get the watch time. It's, and bots, they're just there. It doesn't matter. If no one's absorbing your content, it's pointless. I'd rather grow my channel organically with people who actually want to watch my videos than have millions of bots just sit there. So yeah, buying views and subscribers doesn't do it for me. It's the watch time I'm interested in. And if you have an advertising plan that inclu includes increasing my watch time where people are actually absorbing the content and enjoying the videos, then yeah, I'll probably invest. But to force people, to pay people to sit there and watch my videos so they can earn a paycheck, nah, that's not what I'm interested in. The next comment comes from Chris McLaughlin. Great video, just liked and subscribed. I watched so many reviews of Text Broker and yours was easily the best. I just recently joined and waiting for final approval for my from my sample writing. You made a really great point. You have to know your goals before you jump in so you don't get discouraged. I also like how you say nothing is impossible. My goal out of the gate is to make $40 per day and doing whatever it takes to achieve that. Maybe it will take two hours, maybe four hours. Just trying to pad my other income and this is a great way to do it do that for 30 days and that's twelve hundred dollars in the end we all just become better writers thanks again and yeah that's exactly how i view it i mean if you go into it thinking you're going to make thousands of dollars a day you're going to be discouraged especially if you're a new writer and i know that sometimes maybe somebody will fall ass backwards into luck and get the perfect client right off the bat but in reality it doesn't work that way when I first started text broker, I was just trying to pad my paycheck from working for the school district. So I was making $20 to $40 per week. Then I started proving that I was able to sustain myself doing nothing but writing for text broker. And eventually I made almost double what I did at the school district, so I quit. So it is possible. You just have to really work at it. But yeah, if you go into it thinking I just need a little bit of extra money, spend a few hours making that, I mean, start with $40 like uh, Chris here, then yeah. Eventually you get the ball rolling you start getting some direct orders or joining some teams Get your credibility up there and uh, you'll people will start throwing work at you But don't expect that it's going to happen overnight. It takes a lot of effort But thank you for the comment Chris and uh, best of luck to you and The last comment comes today from Ali just simply best of luck This is in response to my video of going back to Wattpad as a writer and I really haven't done much with Wattpad since I made that video I really want to get back into it and I planned on working on 7 uh, recently, but the next part of 7 involves a train and that's how I lost my son. And I know my imagination would just torch me if I tried to do it right now. So I'm going to move away from 7 at the moment. And I started working on a new project that I hope will have the first chapter published on Wattpad soon. But I still think that it's a valid system if you're a creative 
writer and you want to get some positive feedback if you want to test the waters to see if anybody would actually read your stuff and I think it's a great idea to build an audience in a sense because once you start getting followers and people who are reading your stuff and then you push out an actual book then you already have a fan base that you can rely on I mean you're not going to get rich off of your fans in this way but at least some of them might be buying your book so as long as you keep engaging with those people who are reading your work and uh, being social then systems like Wattpad have quite a bit of validity to it and it also gives me a platform to be able to write fan fiction without getting sued so if I wanted to write something about Fallout I don't have to worry about Bethesda coming after me so that's it for the comments today now I did want to bring up something else is that keywords everywhere is no longer free earlier this week I got a notice that now it's a paid service so I kind of dumped them from my Google Chrome for what it provides I don't necessarily think it's worth it mostly because all the information that keywords everywhere gives you you can get from Google AdWords you know it's kind of cool to have all those uh, stats and numbers and stuff appear when you do a search in YouTube or on Google but for an extra step you might as well just go to AdWords and do it from there so now I don't think uh, keywords everywhere for the price is worth the investment um, I've got plenty of other free systems that I can use and I plan on doing videos on those um, in the near future to show you some free places where I get keywords for whether it's YouTube or, or uh, the blog but for now I would suggest using AdWords and lsigraph.com and links to those systems will be in the description down below second thing I wanted to bring up is that I officially started Colorado Plays' YouTube channel this is a gaming channel that I don't know if anybody of you is going to be interested in it but it's based off of uh, my blog coloradoplays.com now what does gaming have to do with writing well I run the blog and so I write for it so that's how I kind of connect it and it's a bit of shameless promotion but it's not just a gaming channel what Colorado Plays is built around, around is uh, helping charities a large chunk of everything Colorado Plays ever made on the blog itself all went to systems like Extra Life and Geeks of Grandeur and these two charities benefit Children's Hospital here in Denver so since it's for a good cause I figured I'd go ahead and push it here now, I've only got one video on it so far but I just started it Monday and uh, I plan on doing far more with it so if you're into games and uh, want to see an older man play random stuff you can go ahead and click on the description down below there will be a link but if not then no worries so like I said earlier I'm heading out tomorrow to my son's memorial and that's on Saturday and uh, I'm still having issues uh, earlier this week I was trying to work and in the middle of working I just broke down and started bawling it's something that I don't know if or how long I'll take before I'm back to normal if normal was even a thing I'm really I'm really not looking forward to it but then what parent would on the upside I have such a strong um, supportive family and uh, everybody's been great getting me through it a lot of you viewers have commented and I love it and I love you and uh, this is not how I wanted to start my October this time of the year is my favorite time of the year I love Halloween Thanksgiving Christmas my tree is up until like February but it's really hard to really get into the spirit of things you know so it's gonna be a tough weekend but I will be back to making regular videos next week I found that if I keep my mind occupied with work and doing these videos then I tend to do far better especially if I don't have to talk about Kiefer and I've got some um, awesome ideas coming up for the first looks I love doing the first looks they're kind of fun it's kind of cool to go through a system for the first time so you see how I react to stuff but doing videos for Rider Sanctuary in Colorado Plays helps keep my mind off of things and keeps me from diving into despair so in a sense YouTube and the blogs are my coping mechanism and my client has been extremely supportive my team has been awesome everybody's been great throughout this ordeal so I don't know how well I would have handled everything if it wasn't for you guys and my team for that I will be eternally grateful but anywho I think that's going to do it for me today I've got a lot of stuff to do before I head out tomorrow it's snowing and uh, we gotta make sure hopefully that we have enough money to put a tire on the car I'm leaving tomorrow morning I'll be back Sunday afternoon maybe night I'm hoping to get back into streaming on Twitch starting Sunday, but I'm not sure how that's going to work. So, but I am on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So anyway, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you want to learn more about freelance writing, text broker, WordPress, or anything else that I cover on this channel, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell.
that's going to do it for me this week. Have a safe weekend. And uh, I'll see you next week.